Of those, the Norfolk and Westerns, Class J's, are standout examples. The NNW built 14 J locomotives between 1941 and 1950. What made them unusual in the world of steam is that they were erected at the railroad's own shops in Roanoke, Virginia, to the railroad's own design. And what a design it was. With a 484 wheel arrangement and 70 inch drivers, these were marvels of steam and style, capable of pulling a 15 car passenger train at 110 miles per hour. The only Class J still in existence, Norfolk and Western 611, is a national treasure. Retired in 1959, she returned to the rails in 1982 and ran an excursion service for 14 years. She was retired in 1994 and moved back into the yard of the Virginia Museum of Transportation, where it, that's her home. But she was mothballed very, very well in great condition. So the restoration is not going to be complicated, we hope. But we'll find out more. By August, we should know exactly when she'll be running again. We're hoping spring of 2015, she'll thunder home to, to Roanoke under steam. Returning a mainline steam locomotive to service isn't a simple undertaking, even one that's in such good shape. To do it right means more than working on the locomotive itself. Dedicated shop space and an endowment to preserve and promote the locomotive are also required to ensure future generations of rail fans can enjoy the sight of mainline steam in action. To accomplish all of this, the Virginia Museum of Transportation launched the Fire Up 611 campaign in June of 2013. Our initial goal was $3.5 million, added about $2.8 million. The Fire Up 611 committee and the Virginia Museum Board of Directors decided to send her to restoration. We had the money in hand. On May 24th, we rolled her out of the grounds in Roanoke, and we had people coming in from Japan and Germany and the United Kingdom to see her leave, to be there for that moment. So it was a highly emotional moment. People who had ridden behind her with, with their grandfathers were there, and everybody was in tears, and just a happy, happy time to see that their dreams are coming true. Since 1994, her fans worldwide have been begging for her to get back under steam, and this is their chance. The cost of the restoration effort and ongoing support is now pegged at $5 million. Returning 611 to service is expected to take nine months of shop time, starting with the big ticket items. First of all, we have to make certain that she has her FRA inspection and the flue and the boilers are going to be the biggest job for the restoration, but it's just making certain that she hits all the new safety regulations. The Fire Up 611 committee jumped at the chance to take part in Streamliners at Spencer, seeing it as the ideal venue for kicking off the restoration work. We've got a brief program today that's going to lead to a very special event that you're all going to want to see, which is the ceremonial start of the 611 restoration. Today, Wick Mormon, the CEO of Norfolk Southern, will be turning the first nut and the restoration will officially start. Clearly, we think it's great for Norfolk Southern to be part of this event uh, to help continue to spread the, the good news about railroads today, but also to celebrate our long and rich history. Norfolk Southern has been a huge supporter. Without the 21st Century STEAM program, we would not be here today. It's the one thing that allowed us to have the vision of saying, maybe she can run again. Her time is now. So without that support, we would not be here. for the real stars of the show here, all of these great locomotives. It's connecting generations like we've never seen before. 
you know, people who have had their grandfathers, especially the, the Roanokers, whose grandfathers worked on the 611, either they were the engineers or they were the, on the mechanical teams or they were the mechanics themselves, she's such a part of their history and it's, it's emotional for them. A lot of them are bringing their kids along or, you know, they rode behind her with their grandfather and so now it's connecting generations. We had a lot of generational photos in front of the 611 before she was pulled out of just four or five generations all in one picture. It was really something to see.